If you've been drawing long on a USB tablet, I'm sure you've had trouble making lines in a certain direction. Your elbow and wrist joints seem to make one direction really easy, really natural. But the opposite direction just makes you want to grab that tablet on your desk and rotate it like you would with a sheet of drawing paper. Well, I know this frustration all too well, and in today's video I'm going to show two different Photoshop workarounds to help solve the problem. First off, I know you've been here. You're just trying to get that curve right, but it doesn't work right, so you erase it. Try it again. Oh, maybe you'll undo this time. Try it again. I'll undo again. Well, there really is an easier way, and it can work in any version of Photoshop. So the way I like to do it is to make a new layer before I draw my stroke, and then I draw my stroke, and if I don't quite make it right, I'll just free transform it. You notice the curve still isn't quite right up top. Well, here's where warp comes into play. Right click and go to warp. And you can just push it into place a little bit, just like that. Now it will be slightly destructive. It's not going to be quite as crisp as your initial line was, but how much easier is this than trying a hundred times to get the line just right? So you confirm it and there you go. So I'll make a new layer. Try this curve over here. See, I didn't quite get it. So I'll free transform. And then I'll warp. So it seems like cheating, but you're using digital, so there really isn't a way to cheat. This is just one more tool that Photoshop gives you to help increase your accuracy. And in a lot of ways, it just helps make up for the inherent downfalls that a USB tablet has. It's kind of hard to draw on them, but if you know the tricks, you can avoid a lot of headache. So that's number one. And number two is only available in the newer versions of Photoshop. So if you have version CS4 or CS5, you can use what's called the canvas rotation. I feel like there should be a drum roll before this feature, because if you've been using Photoshop as long as I have, this is an incredible addition. I've been waiting for it for years. So here it goes. I can rotate the canvas move it around, zoom in, and then draw my line. So in this way, just like the sheet of paper on your table, you're able to naturally move the paper around and to draw lines on the angle that most naturally fits your geometry. So your elbow and your wrist are just going to sort of work in one direction most naturally. And to accommodate that, I just rotate the canvas. And then at any point I hit escape, and it centers it again. It goes back to normal. So I've hesitated showing this feature because I know that most people probably don't have the newest versions of Photoshop. Also, if you're using something like GIMP, you won't have this option at all. So know that oftentimes I will not rotate the canvas. More often than not, I'll make a new layer, draw a line, and then free transform and warp it into place. But if you do have the new versions of Photoshop, give Canvas Rotation a try. It's really, really nice. So if you guys have any other cool workarounds for the USB tablet angle problem, I'd love to hear about them. So put them in the comments. Thanks for watching, guys.